Oh my goodness. Like, it's been... It's probably been 30 minutes, an hour since the game ended. I think my silence speaks volumes. So, so okay. First off, before that, John Curtis and uh, Edna Carr, they were on national TV. And I mean, you know, John Curtis had been looking really good, you know, before Ida kind of messed with everything. You know, they, you know, they just looked like, you know, they, they were, they were pretty big up front this year, which is good for what they run. And, you know, they were just blowing people off the ball. So, you know, now they, they come back on national TV. They're, they're playing Edna Carr, which, you know, from, from an outside perspective, the two kings of New Orleans high school football, you know, Brother Martin may have something to say about that, but yeah, we'll, we'll see. But anyway, now that game got a little out of hand quick. The game I want to talk about, my LCA Knights took on the Acadiana Wrecking Rams. And then, I mean, I mean, first of all, you know, LCA was moving the was moving the ball on Acadiana pretty well. Like their offensive line, the past couple of years, their offensive line had some struggles. This year, they looked like they belonged. Like they were, they were getting a decent push. Uh, LCA's new offensive coordinator was calling some good plays, but. He's been, you know, he's been calling some good plays, you know, nothing, nothing against the last guy. It's just this, it's like, I have someone from inside. I know a dad who knows people inside the program. And they, like, the kids literally call him Belichick because when they watch, you know, how he, like, he, you know, kind of schemes up for what the opponent's doing defensively. But, it, see, anyway, back to the game, you know, LCA was moving the ball, but, you know, they, they had troubles with turnovers, you know. Johnson played a relatively good game, but he did throw three interceptions. That, you know, that is, you know, that is what it is, and can't expect to win a lot of games like that. However... Some of that was mitigated by, on Acadiana's side, they were called for like four or five unsportsmanlike conduct penalties. I mean, there was a, at least, what, I think what I'm thinking is there were four unsportsmanlikes and then there was another, uh, there was another play where basically uh, pl a player, actually a former LCA player, uh, got kicked out of the game for basically targeting. I mean, if, if you saw the play, you know, he kind of speared into the back and played up the back, just got right back up like nothing happened. But, yeah, I mean, it again, it's kind of, it is what it is. I, you know, I didn't want to see him go out. You know, I'm wishing for the best for him, but, you know, just that's what happened. You know, he... Just the play was going on. He kind of speared forward. Sorry about that. Uh, look, look, full view of hair, but yeah, that's it's kind of it's kind of what the back saw in, in his face mask. Except instead of hair, it was helmet. So anyway, that that play was on a goal to go situation. I will get back to that. So anyway, one of the one of the turnovers, and I think it was actually on the one fum, one fumble that Acadia recovered, because I think LCA also had three fumbles, and Acadia recovered one of them, and I'm pretty sure that one was the one turnover where LCA got, not LCA, where Acadia got in their territory. Because with the, with the field position game, Acadia did have one turnover, and it, LCA got it about midfield, but I'm pretty sure they threw an interception back. But yeah, it was 0-0 for the longest. Then Acadiana on a short field 
running that split back veer, takes it into the end zone. Touchdown. They make the extra point. It's 7 0. Now, LCA, and again, one thing LCA was doing was they were working that run pretty well. Now, you know, there were some sweeps they were trying that weren't really getting anything, but like the quarterback Johnson was very effective in the run game. Um, the, you know, the backs did well. Yeah. And also, I mean, even though he was throwing interceptions, you know, he eventually started to get into a rhythm in the pass game. And look, the offensive coordinator was absolutely right to keep going back to the pass game. You know why? Because our receivers were beating their DBs not named Welch. You know, obviously, LaTerrence Welch, the uh, LSU commit. And I mean, I, I think even he might have got beat a couple times, but I'd need to go watch the film. You know, by beat, you know, by beat, I mean, you know, there's enough of a window there for a throw and catch. But anyway, you know, LCA drives down that on the goal line, they get in, you know, they, they run spread all the way down the field. They get close, they get, they get close to the end zone and go into an I formation and they get in on a QB sneak. Extra point is good. It's seven, seven going into the half. LCA gets the ball to start the second half. They drive in, it looks like they're gonna score another interception. But defense holds. So I think there was another drive where LCA got in close again and yet again another interception. But Acadiana once again didn't score. So somewhere I think late third quarter. LCA once again gets to the goal line, goes I formation, and punches it in. And it's 14-7, and so I think this is sometime in the fourth quarter. Acadiana goes four, goes three and out, and has just an unfortunate punt where you know he he doesn't shake it too bad, but then, but it's but it's not a good punt. And then it's made all the more worse by rolling backwards. So, and then on the first play, they they go to pass and there's this junior low white receiver by the name of Beer who, just, who Acadiana tries to press him and you don't press that man. <laughs> he is, he is a four, you know, he has worked on his footwork more than you can imagine. So, anyway, be beats his man, gets open deep. But he, like, he stumbles around the five-yard line and is down at the four. Otherwise, he could have walked into the end zone. And, and then, un unfortunately, the quarterbacks... Johnson starts dealing with cramps. They have to bring the backup, who's a little bit more of a pocket passer. And so, I also think in that series, on third and one, there's a false start. And then they hand it off to the back. He gets a couple yards. They bring out the field goal team. They miss. And so, at this point, it's late fourth quarter. Acadiana has to drive, okay? And you know they you know, split back their offense. They got to run. They they run. They run. I think the first actually the play that springs them off is they hand it off to the back for a trick play pass, and there's a late hit. You know, it's something that happens. You got to clean it up, but you got to play on. You know they. Again, they start running their veer, running their veer. Eventually, it gets to the point where they start they're starting to have to pass. And who do they bring in to play one of the receiver spots? Then none other than the LSU commit corner. Who they yes, they bring in to play a receiver because he's probably their best athlete, LaTerrence Welch. On third down, they throw deep to him. It's almost intercepted, but the pass is ultimately broken up. Fourth down, again, LCA is doubling him. And they go the other way. They go to the other receiver. And he catches it, and he's down at the three-yard line. 
Couple plays later, Acadiana punches it in. Now this is where it gets a little weird because at first they send out the offense and then call a timeout. They bring out the PAT team. I need to go see the replay. I thought Rylan Green, LCA's defensive back, he's committed to Liberty for football and for outfield and baseball. Uh, but Rylan Green, oh, who's a, who also, this is his first game back this season. He, he had been dealing with a thumb issue, but he's back. And he, again, he came up big on that third down before they got beat deep on that fourth down play. He, appears to jump off and then the refs have a big conference for like a minute plus of like you know it's starting to creep in are they gonna say it's a false start because again i need to see the replay to see if it happened but why i didn't think that i didn't see anyone jump before brylin did it, just being honest here. But you know what? It happened. They kick an extra point from five yards back. It's blocked. Uh, they, And then after the block, LCA recovers an onside. They run out the clock. And LCA wins the game 14-13. to 13. Like... This is, this has to be up there with the with the craziest games and that LCA has ever played in. Uh, in the top three, I can think of two they were on the right side of, one where they were on the wrong side. So obviously, this Acadiana game, it, I'd just because of who the opponent is and the magnitude, I would put it at number one. Then in second place, another game they won. It it was a playoff game. They were playing a team in dish. They were playing a district team that had beaten them in the regular season, and I can give the full context of that game if y'all want. Drop it in the comments if y'all want to hear that. But anyway, they're playing them. It's late in the fourth quarter. They score a touchdown. The kicker misses an extra point, so they're down one point. The other team, who's usually a passing team, Runs the ball three times. They use all three of their timeouts. Punt, drive down, and get it to about a 43-yard field goal. And the kicker gets his redemption. They go to state. LCA wins their first state title in school history. Again, if y'all want me to go like full in-depth, I, I can make another video on that. And then number three is actually one from... Back in my high school days, back when, back when I was on the team, I, I wasn't really playing, but I was on the team. But there was a different district opponent we were playing. They were up, what, 14-0 at, they were up like 14-0 at the half. We may, and we make an adjustment and we come storming back. It's it's tied 21 all late in the fourth quarter. They have the ball. They bomb it down the field. This is my sophomore year. They bomb it down the field. It's caught. A couple plays later, they run it in. They win the ball game. And this was this was on our home turf, too. But yeah. I mean, LCA has been fortunate enough to not be on that side of those games too often. But it has happened. Anyway, yeah, what, anyway, all that to say, what a freaking game. You know, they, and, I mean, look, they, they still got things to work on, but, I mean, some other things, Special teams was something I was worried about. Other than the other than the PAT unit, really, the special teams played really good in that game, actually. I mean, you know, there's some other stuff they'll have to clean up, but going forward, I feel really good about this team. 
But yeah, that's about it, I guess. Peace.